What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have a fun quick trick today showing you how to compare two categories against each other in Power BI. Specifically, I wanna show you how you can create the slicers here on the left that's going to allow your user to select one category and actually filter out that selected category from the other selection. For example, we can see that I've selected gift store in my first category slicer, but gift store does not appear in my second category. If I were to change my first category to let's say computer store, we see computer store fall off of the second category slicer. Another example, if I select gift store now, we can see that in first category, gift store is now gone. So basically we're never going to have that overlap between these two slicer selections because it's always going to dynamically filter out the selection from the other slicer. That's going to be the main portion of this trick, getting those two slicers to filter each other. And as a last step, I'm gonna show you how you can set this up to work in a visual as well. To get started, let's go ahead and jump into another file. So in this file, I just have this set up to where I have a single slicer with my categories and a visual showing the total sales by customer category over time. Specifically, I wanna show you that in my modeling view, my categories table, where my category slicer is coming from, is in fact connected to my fact tables, my sales orders and sales order lines. So with that said, if we go to our visualization and we select on a single category, it is going to filter down our total sales. We can even select a couple different customer categories and see them here, but we need to do some work in order to split this out into a first selection slicer and a second selection slicer. So if you've ever thought about how to do this, you'll realize that you can't do it with a single column. You're going to need to split this into two different columns that actually exist on two different disconnected tables. So the first step is to create those disconnected tables. And I will do that by going to the modeling tab and there's this new table option. I'm gonna call this first table, first selection. And that's just going to be equal to values from whatever is driving the slicer, which is my category name field. This is going to give me all of the distinct category names from my categories table. If I go take a quick look at what my first selection table looks like, it looks just like that, that's perfect. And now I just need to create a second one, which I'm gonna call second selection. So let's go back here, modeling, new table. I'm gonna call this second selection. And I can do the exact same values of my category's customer name, or I can just refer to first selection. It's going to get the exact same code. So if I look at second selection now, it's going to look just like first selection. And if we look in the modeling view, we need to make sure that there are no relationships set up between these tables. So this first selection and second selection stand alone. They're not connected to categories or any other table. So that's perfect. Now let's switch this out for our first selection category name instead of our original categories category name. So this is going to have no bearing on our visualization now because it is disconnected. Let's go ahead and make this a single select slicer. So just selection control, single select, perfect. And let's now copy this and paste it below and switch out the field for our second selection category name. So now we have both of these. They're not going to filter each other at this point, but you can select them and they will not drive anything over in this visual. So now the only thing you need to do to make these slicers filter each other is a single measure. So we will do that. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, category selection filter. And it's a very simple if statement saying if selected value of my first selection category name equals selected value of my second selection category name, let's just return a zero, else we'll return a one. And this basically means if what is selected in my first slicer, this first selection category name, equals what is selected in my second slicer, second category name, I return a zero, else I return a one. So let's click enter. And now we just need to throw this filter into each one of these slicers filters. So I'm going to throw in my category selection filter and set that equal to one. So is one, apply filter, and the exact same thing for this one as well. So category selection filter is one. Apply filter. And now that's going to filter out the other slicer based on what's selected in the other slicer. So that's looking really great. Last step, I'm just gonna to put together a quick measure to actually make this dynamic and work based on our two slicer selections. So I'm just going to create a new measure. I'm going to call this sales category comparison. And I'm going to set that equal to calculate. 
I have my total sales measure already created. And the only thing extra I need to add is a filter clause. I'm gonna filter down my original categories table to where category name, which if you recall is driving both of these slicers. That's the original category name column. So I wanna say filter down my categories table to where category name in, and then in curly brackets, that's going to signify a list. If category name in, and let's do selected value from my first category name, comma, selected value from my second category name. And let's close off everything, close off the filter, close off, calculate. And running through that one more time, let's calculate our total sales, but we wanna filter all of our category names to where they are in our selected values coming from the first slicer and the second slicer. So as long as they're in either of those two slicer selections, we want to include them. Close that out. Let's throw that new sales into the values. Get rid of total sales. So now we are now down to two selections. And if we now select corporate and gift store, we are just gonna show those two, corporate and gift store. And one more example, if I now select supermarket in the second one, we see supermarket goes away in the top slicer selection and supermarket is now selected in our visual. So this was a quick tutorial on how you can create those two comparison slicers and have them filter each other. And then we went one step further and learned how to plot those points based on your disconnected slicer tables. So if you like this trick, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you wanna get access to the data set I'm using behind this demo, make sure you sign up for our training down at bielitetraining.com. You'll be able to access multiple live SQL databases in order to practice your Power BI. We also have some great courses on Power BI DAX and Alteryx to see you there and I will see you in the next video.